decades ago and before then. Naito was the king of telecommunications in Nigeria. That was an era when the major signs of Ibro streets exclusively reserved for the rich and the influential were telephone wires that actually crisscrossed the poles. It showed high teledensity in such areas and inhabitants of those locations felt like the most teleconnected set of people in the country. But today, the rhythm has changed as the telecom revolution in Nigeria that came with the breath of the global system for mobile communications, popularly known as GSM in 2001, has made it possible for everyone to access many telecommunications related services. We are gathered here today to celebrate 20 years of GSM in Nigeria in an event organized by eBusiness Life with the theme GSM at 20, setting the stage for the 5G journey. Please stay tuned as we take you through the journey. I am Ugochi Emmanuel, and don't forget to tap the subscription button, like and share our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash techlevelugo. Also press the bell icon to get our notifications at all times. Catch ya. Operators, regulators and consumers of telecommunications products have continued to speak about the revolution which the global systems for mobile communications popularly known as GSM has brought into individual lives. The tremendous contribution to the GDP of the nation and the ability of Nigerians to communicate through the mobile phone and the opportunity to carry out several transactions is one key contribution to the growth of the nation. Specifically, the industry has witnessed major landmark and the Nigerian government has made significant growth and the deployment of telecommunications infrastructure, such as the widespread of base stations across the nation and landing submarines call for the early deployment of the 5G technology. Speaking at the GSM at 20, an event organized by eBusiness Live Communications recently held in Lagos, the Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, Professor Omar Garobat Dambata, said that Nigerians have experienced various technological growth and telecoms industry has become a formidable arm of the economy, so strong to boost the GDP and bring the economy out of recession. The NCC boss represented by the Director of Technical Standard and Network Integrity, Engineer Bako Wakil, said that the new technology is meant to deliver higher multi-GDP speak data speed at ultra-low latency, more reliable and massive network capability. So, what is this 5G, the next slides? Of course, there are different angles to defining 5G network. It is the fifth generation of mobile network. It is also a new global wireless standard after 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G networks. It enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone to everything together. Again, 5G means higher multi-gigabytes per second peak data speeds at ultra low latency with more reliability, massive network capacity, increased availability and a more uniform user experience to more users. Higher performance and improved efficiency empower new user experiences and connect new industries. He, however, stated that the 5G technology requirement from the administrative angle include availability of adequate spectrum, regulatory policy, stakeholders' awareness program, conducive atmosphere for investment, and reasonable regulatory charges. What are the major attributes of 5G? Internationally standardized criteria outlined for 5G by the ITU are one, 
enhanced mobile broadband with looking at 20 gigabit per second downlink a reliable 100 megabit per second user experience. The second is the ultra reliable and low latency communication. We are looking at something uh, below one millisecond for industrial robotics, vehicle to vehicles, uh, services, intelligent transportation system, you know, autonomous vehicle, remote uh, health care or, or remote uh, surgery and all that. In his goodwill message, engineer Ikechuku Nnamani, president of the Association of Telecommunications Companies of Nigeria, ATCON, congratulated the firm for organizing the event. Nnamani, who spoke through the executive secretary of ATCON, Ajibola Olude, said the discussions around 5G deployment should not neglect the need for the telcos to migrate to IPVC as most of their current equipment are on IPV4. Currently, our network is, is more of IP version 4 than IP version 6. And for 5G to really uh, deliver its purpose, there's need for our network to be IP version 6 compliant. Secondly, 5G must be discussed in terms of cyber security. How secure are we in terms of ensuring that the web, I mean, the, 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 the internet is, uh, is safe. The chief project manager, Digital and Code Limited, Mr. Simile Olua Oyedigi, spoke on the need for the government to find ways of reducing costs, especially knowing that operators will spend so much more in deploying 5G across the country. He further harped on the need for security, stating that aside the security features embedded in the 5G technology, further care should be taken as cyber criminals are not resting. So for 5G, of course, the security factors we need to consider, which of course we have one we still discuss, and what organization needs to start learning. Because one thing with innovation is it's destructive, and also it gives, um, we start having knowledge gap. So when we are not fully really aware of the capability of the technology, that's where the knowledge gap comes in. And those that fully know each of the cyber criminals, they take advantage of this. To be honest, just like we're having the same forum, we're talking about 5G, talking about it's going to be, you know, how Nigeria has, you know, this is 20 years since we started the uh, mobile telecommunication. The same thing with all the actors, they have the same forum that we have. They, they all discuss, you know, now there's two new technology 5G, you know, we need to look at how we're going to bridge into this privacy. Yes, it has a strong encryption process. What are the vulnerabilities that we can take advantage of? Because that is their own means of livelihood. Some do it to just cause chaos to the organization. Some do it to cause chaos to even a whole nation. You know, some just do it for fun. The publisher, eBusiness Life Communications, Mrs. Ufoma Dairo, traced the journey of 20 years since the first call on the GSM network in Nigeria was made. She said that the journey, which led to the historic GSM call on August 8, 2021, began when digital mobile licenses were issued by the Nigerian government through the NCC in January 2001. She stated further that the deployment of the 5G technology will spur services that will stimulate growth in different sectors of the Nigerian economy, including health, education, finance, and commerce sectors. The high point of the event was the award session, where the Nigerian Communications Commission was recognized with the Technology Transformer Award, followed by Digital Encode as a Cyber Security Mastery Award. As a Cyber Security Mastery Award, okay, 